What is up everyone, it's Red Fusion here, and today guys we're back with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get custom zombie maps on PC for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Because I've been getting this question a lot anytime I do my custom zombie streams. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like, smash the subscribe button, really appreciate it. And let's get straight into the tutorial of how to get custom zombie maps if you have Black Ops 3 on PC. So first step obviously is you have to have Black Ops 3 on PC. Make sure you have a, a computer that can run anywhere from 30 to 60 FPS because you want the game to be running at a decent FPS. You don't want to be running anything below that. So the first thing you guys obviously have to do once you have Black Ops 3 on PC is you have to get you have to install Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mod tools on Steam. So you're gonna go search Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mod tools and you're gonna install it. Once you install it, I'm gonna go into Black Ops 3 and show you guys the next step. Okay guys, we're here on the PC. Once you basically install mods on Black Ops 3, it's going to appear right under store. And for you, it's going to be blank. Now, you want to know how to add these mods and also how to add the maps as well. And I'll show you some of these maps that I do have. And I'll explain in a second how to uh, obviously install the mods and the maps. Now, some really popular ones I definitely recommend once you start installing some of these maps. Uh, octagonal, uh, the Octagonal maps, Octagonal Wood, Octagonal Ascension, Octagonal Challenge. Those are some pretty good maps to start off with. Um... There's some really good ones like The Walking Dead, MW2 Terminal Zombies. Uh, there's a hijacked map, Curse of the Undead. Um, some of these I really do like. Uh, Temple Sprint's kind of like uh, Temple Run. Um, also, I have Octagonal. There's another Octagonal Challenge. That's one's good. Um, Minecraft One Window Challenge. Uh, Spaceland Survival. I like that one. Donkey Kong. Uh, Hexagonal Tower. It's a good one. Minecraft Reload. There's a lot of my good Minecraft ones. World War II D-Day. I streamed that one before. I enjoyed that one. Legend of Zelda, Mars Zombies, Family Guy Zombies. Um, the list goes on. You got Indiana Jones, Minecraft One Window again, Donkey Kong again, the SpongeBob, SpongeBob the Poseidon Dome. This one's good. Bowser's Castle, Mario Kart Rainbow Road, and this is the list goes on and on. There's some really good ones. Some of them I recommend um, that you guys should definitely install as some of your first maps, and then you can go explore and find some even more maps. Now, some of the mods that I've installed. I just want to show this really quickly, just so you have an idea of what to install. Because you guys are probably like going in, you probably never installed some of this stuff. And this ones that give you staffs, one, uh, some of these are include multiplayer as well. One of the Chamber Survival, uh, there's also some weapon mods. Uh, these, these are mainly weapon mods and also some skin mods, including Donald Trump. That one's pretty hilarious. And you're probably wondering how I, you know, once I show you how to install them, I'll show you how to play them. Um, but I'm going to show you how to install them right now, guys. So once you guys are on Black Ops 3 on the Steam library, how to basically install the mods and maps, pretty simple. You're going to scroll down and find the Steam Workshop. You click Browse the Workshop. Now, a lot of games have these workshops where you can download mods to add you know, some extra spice or flavor to the game. Now, some brand new ones. I definitely do recommend this turned one. This one's a really good one. So we're going to install. This is a mod. This is not a map. So what you guys want to do is go here. Click subscribe. Once you click subscribe, as you can see there, it's gonna say downloading, and the the map slash mod itself will start downloading. So that is basically a turned mod. It's not a map. Now we want to install a map, so we're gonna install one of the new maps. And the best way I recommend is going here. You can go to most popular, and you could search like the last week, today, three months, six months, a year, top rate all time, most recent, most subscribed. And there's a lot of you could even put the parameters down even less with some of these, uh, like including uh, what's got animation, audio, character, and a bunch of others. So let's install a new map here. Let's install, let's see, what do we got here? We got, hmm, I've already installed the mob that remastered. Okay, we're gonna, go, we're gonna install skate. No, we already did that. We're gonna install, let's see, any good ones here? Five starting room challenge. This one looks pretty cool. It's the five starting room. So what we're going to do is we're going to click subscribe. And once we click subscribe, guys, it's going to download the map, as you can see. And if you want to get rid of the maps or mods, you can click unsubscribe, and it will get rid of them. So that's basically how you get rid of them. Uh, pretty simple enough. So basically, now, now that we know how to uh, basically download the mods and maps, I'm going to show you how to play them in Black Ops 3. So we're going to go back to Black Ops 3. Okay, guys, we're back here on Black Ops 3. Now, obviously, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to add a mod and we're going to play a map. So, right here off the bat, we're going to do the Donald Trump mod. So, I'm basically going to load the mod. And what the mod is going to do is basically it's going to make my character skin Donald Trump. There's also weapon mods that you can install and all that. And there's a little search meter that you could search uh, for certain stuff you want to check out. So, as you guys see, here's my character skin. It is Donald Trump. Now, guys, I want to play a map. Uh, a custom design map. So once I have it installed, let's say for example, 
All right, the new map that we just installed. Let's uh, do it. So we're here, five starting room challenge. We're gonna click on it, and then we're gonna click start game. And you can obviously set your gobble gums the way you want. The good thing about custom zombie maps is when you play with gobble gums, uh, you will not lose them. So uh, definitely a plus uh, if you have perkaholics and all that. So we're gonna let it load in. You'll probably see a loading screen as well. Does it have an intro? Oh, I can skip it. Okay. So I think it shows the intro from 5, but we're going to skip that. So we're going to spawn in here. As you guys can see, we got the 5 first room here on Black Ops 3 Zombies thanks to Custom Zombies. And there's probably a bunch of custom weapons here. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and really appreciate it. You can see we're also playing as Donald Trump. So, pretty interesting. We obviously, this map, uh, 5, takes place in the Pentagon. So, I thought I'd uh, share this with you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That is basically how you guys install custom zombies, maps, and mods. And also play custom zombie maps and mods. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop a like. Smack subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.